Hi, in this clip we will discuss about Markov inequality. So uh, previously we've been using expectations to analyze various if, uh, ex experiment. Like consider the case when we want to throw enough balls so that there is no empty bins left. We might say that we, we might analyze to the condition that uh, the number, the expected number of empty bin is small right say this is less than one or maybe if you want stronger bounds you might say it's less than 0 0.001 but uh, this this statement alone does not directly means that the bad events cannot occur so in this case the bad event is the event that uh, um there is some is some empty bin right it doesn't it, it doesn't say this directly okay but maybe we might be able to say something about it so in in this clip uh, in this uh segment we will explore this relationship between uh expectation and, and probability a little bit okay so let's look at uh one example right so uh, we might have one random variable such that uh, x which is really small say uh, zero the expected value of x is zero but is it possible that we can say that it, x cannot have large value with high probability or with some probability so uh, can you find a random variable x such that this is true okay that uh, first of all the expected value of x is zero and probably probability of x larger than a, a million is greater than or equal to uh, 0 0.5 so i'll wait a few uh, seconds so that you can uh, try to uh, define this discrete random variable x All right. So you want we want the expectation to be zero, right? So if you look at the probability distribution of x, so this is zero. So it ha so the average has to be zero. But you want x to be greater than or equal to a million with this much uh, this much probability. So maybe let's try to do that here. So this is a million. And let's say uh, x is a million with probability 0 0.5. Okay. So what what does it take to make this random variable x uh, be uh, expected value be zero? Okay. So you need the average to be zero, so you can put another mass here with minus one million with probability 1.5. If you have this, then uh, the expected value of x is uh, 0, but x can be extremely large, right? A million with probability like half of the time x can be large. Okay. So look at let's look at another question. So suppose we have a random variable. Can you find a random variable x such that it's even worse okay the expected value is zero but x can be extremely large for like 90 percent so I'll wait, again I'll, I'll wait for a few uh, seconds if you need more time you can just pause the video all right um, again you want so let's look at this uh, lie so you want the expected value to be zero but uh, x 0 point at a million x the probability here is point 0.9 so what does it take to get the expected value to be zero okay all right you can just say that um, so you can write uh, so what is left is about 0.1, right? So 0.1. So this is not drawn to scale, and say this is uh, b, okay? So you can write an e equation that says uh, 
0 0.9 times a million plus b times 0 0.1 equals 0. Okay, so b, if you solve it, then you get that b is about uh, 9 million. So if b is 9 million, then uh, the expected value is, is is zero. Okay, so you have variable random variable x such that x is million with probability 0 0.9 and minus 9 million with probability 0 0.1. Okay, so you have that then uh, x can be extremely large with high uh, 90%. Alright, so so this might say that when you analyze something and you say, yeah, the expected value is small, less than zero, or really small, close to zero, then you cannot say that, yeah, it's the, the actual value would be small with high probability, or with any probability at all. Right, so um, now let me add one more uh uh, condition okay so if you look previously the bad thing is that you can have uh, this uh, large negative number right that kind of cues cues off the the expectation so suppose we remove this uh, this pos possibility and say that X is non-negative okay so it can be the smallest value that X can take is, is zero okay so also assume that expected value of x is just one okay now the question of this segment is to let you try to answer this question is it possible that probability of x larger than 100 is at least uh, 0.5 okay and we can go further is it possible that the probability that x larger than 100 is is at least uh, 0 0.1 why is it possible that uh, the probability that x larger than is at least 100 is at least 0 0.01? Okay, so think about this, and and in many some some of these are possible, some of these are not possible, and for those which are impossible, please think about why. Okay, think about the reason why you can say that hey, this is not possible, because this will be crucial to our proof of the Markov inequality that we introduce in the next sec segment. Alright, see you. Think about it. Bye.